Good evening, Plum here playing World of Tanks and tonight I'm going to ask the question Does suicide scouting ever pay off? I think we all know the answer Generally no But I'm going to try and have a couple of quick games because I'm sure they are going to be quick where I am deliberately just going to rush the enemy team in my scout tank and just uh, see if we get one of those moments when it, it actually works and you get through it and you get out the other side and you actually uh, do a ridiculous amount of spotting damage and uh, just spotting in general and live to tell about it so um, my first tank is going to be the ELC AMX very fast very difficult to hit when it's moving um, unless you go right into the enemy base and they're still there <laughs> moving out and uh, see if anything remarkable happens let's press the battle button. I am genuinely uh, <laughs> excited by the prospect of this happening. So it's Cliff. Got a 46% chance and going up against tier 7s. Um, now which end of the map are we going to be at? I think I'd quite like to do this from the from the south. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 from the south. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rush up the uh, six line between the uh, lighthouse and the smaller mound and then uh, dink left towards the village it's a shame there's no artillery to light up but that's not my uh, intent I said I'm going to do this so I'm going to do it let's uh, let's go suicide get some speed up in this uh, very low profile tank that's why it's so damned hard to hit you look at it from the side look at it, it's just barely going past the uh, tops of the grass now I'm not going to go straight in suicide scouting because that really would be stupid you're probably all thinking that's what I was going to do but I'm not going to do that <laughs> I am going to give the uh, enemy team a minute to spread out. If I go straight up against a whole load of guns, then uh, that really is stupid. Crikey, got to watch my own team there. There's the Chaffee just over the ridge. Ooh, a T29. Am I even spotted? So I've got to get some speed up. I'm nearly ready to rush. See now we've got some support from my team. I am now going to turn around here. Actually I'm going to go, I've changed my mind just seeing that little bit of uh, information on the map. I'm going to rush past this IS because I know his turret turns pretty slowly. Hopefully my friends here can take advantage of this. So now the IS is going to want to take a shot at me. See around comes his turret. Is he even bothering? I don't think he is, you know. Ah, there we go. First game over. <laughs> That's a shame he had three friends all lining up to take a shot. No wonder he didn't bother turning his turret. Anyway. No, that did not work. Next game, I'm going to use my... What have I got that is fast? I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'll go with my uh, PZ-1. That's all set to go. Set up for scouting, uh, you know, from behind bushes, but... Um, That is not my intent. We're going to do the same thing again. A little bit different this time because we're top, top tier. This could just turn out to be a, an absolute blast and I get damage kills. <laughs> top gun, who knows? Right, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? I'm going to go... I've got to go towards the north and come around there, the western side of the map because it's just too much of a... Uh, a tunnel going down to the uh, southeast, not enough room to manoeuvre. So, 
I'm going to make a promise now. I swear I am not going to take my finger off the W key for any reason whatsoever. When this tank stops, it'll be because it is burning in flames or we have won the match. Best way to play this tank. So many times I've done this and I've stopped to shoot at something and it's ended badly nearly every time. It's easier to do it at the end of the match when you're really aware of where enemy tanks are and whether you've got uh, concealment. Got to start shimmying a bit now. So I'm going to go across this cruiser's path hopefully and then go behind him and then we can auto lock on that PZ2 go between the two guns and then I'm going to drop down into this valley skid around that corner whoa rather nicely get rid of those few remaining shells oh this is a bit difficult come up around that ridge now I'm going to go around here I'm going to try and get a lock on him if I aha we're going to go for this guy next so now he's dead aha so so far <laughs> we are doing alright I haven't been tracked yet Oh, now I've been tracked. I'm going to repair the tracks, try and keep moving. I've now got, uh, got to get some speed up here. Ah, oh, taken out by, <laughs> by the artillery of all players. And look what's happened to the enemy team. Oh, we're going to hang around and watch this one play out, I think. Have they lost the ELC match I was just in? Because I could have another quick one in the ELC while this map finishes. And then we'll take a look. Right, I'm going to quit out of this. Has that map finished? It has, and it was defeat. Quick look at the scores in that one. Hmm. Look at me down there. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> no damage, <laughs> 60 uh, XP, and yet still able to uh, walk away with a profit even without a premium account. So that would have been yeah, okay. <laughs> right, let's try again in the ELC. Uh, where is it? France ELC. I've got this um, set up with the enhanced torsion bars to add 20% to the suspension durability because obviously you might fly off a ledge and you don't really want your tracks to break through that kind of uh, manoeuvre um, and spool liner for explosions and such near the tank since there might be quite a few near misses right we'll do this once more more often than not we're always in tier 7's yeah another tier uh, tier 6 match this time Brokarovka there's a lot of room <laughs> on the uh, field side. So uh, I'm going to play this one as I did the first ELC match. I'm going to go up to the middle line, do a bit of uh, tentative scouting, and then I'll do my suicide run once I've... Uh, once I'm happy their team has spread out more. Going directly there really is silly. Even when you've got maybe four... I don't even get four anymore. Uh, three artillery. You'll be there so quickly, the artillery will still be manoeuvring, getting into position when you suddenly light up the entire end of the map and they'll turn and by the time you've been blown to pieces everything's disappeared again. So um, there really is little point in doing it immediately. I know I gave the impression at the start of this video that that's what I'd be doing, <laughs> but um, even I am not that stupid and neither should you be. Right, now uh, I've tried hitting one of these uh, going along the ridge. I don't think I've ever done it. They're just too low, too fast. See, the shots will start coming in. 
<laughs> They're all missing. This is one fast tank. So I don't want to just instantly go back up on the ridge because I'm sure there'll be some guys pre-aim there now. So I want to make sure that I've disappeared. And yeah, that VK over in the east flank, he's on his own. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Is he going to shoot at me? He might try. I'm going to take a chance, go around this rock. Ah, uh, hold on. Oh, actually took a hit from that ARL. Good shot, sir. Oh, let's get into this dip here. Had some good games in this little dip here, this bowl. You can uh, really do some good spotting from here. Let's keep that ARL. I'm sure the VK is doing it, but uh, keep circling. I'm not going to go yet. I haven't got enough support to push their base. I am very much one-shottable now as well. Oh, I can't keep circling here because someone's going to just be totally pre-aimed on where I am. Oof, that was close. That was close. Let's use the zoom mod and uh, survey. <laughs> this is a useful mod <laughs> to zoom this far out. T150. So, we've got all these lovely friendly tanks all lining up to take shots at these guys down here now. So, now yeah, maybe a better time than ever if we can just swing the battle in our favour. Right, I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Uh, that KV-1's got a pretty quick gun. I'm surprised his turret turned that quickly, actually. Ah, well, that sucked, didn't it? Uh, let's get back to the business of seeing how we did in the uh, PZ1 game. Cause I imagine that was not a bad score. Um, that's not going to be a very good score at all. Maybe did a couple of bits of minor spotting. Maybe a couple of bits of minor spotting damage, but nothing to write home about. So let's go see what the result was. And. Uh, wind up this video. So we did win and we did very nicely thank you. <laughs> First class mastery badge. We also got the scout which is exactly what we were trying to do and we also got patrol duty which is help your team damage at least six enemy vehicles by spotting them. I really wasn't paying any attention to what my team was doing when I was rushing around that map I was just so focused on where I was going and what I was shooting at that I had no idea. Um, it's only when I died and looked at the uh, scoreboard and realised half the enemy team was dead. What tends to happen is you rush, the enemy team just stops and they all start, they just look at you and try and shoot you and then if you've got a good team behind you, they take advantage. Which is, appears to be exactly what happened there, so let's see how we did on the team. I'm going to put my money on coming top. <laughs> there we go. That's a good result. 743 experience. And then second place chap, Spilster, had 483. So quite a big big gap. Um, I even didn't do too bad on damage. Top 5. And got 2 kills, taking out the tier 2s. Um, that was a great game. I do enjoy performing in the PZ1C exactly like that. When you're top tier and you've got tier twos, you can tear a tier two apart in seconds. And uh, it does move. When there's room to maneuver, it does move very nicely once it's up to speed. I anyway, hope you enjoyed those three matches. I've obviously <laughs> proved that the ELC is uh, problematic because you're facing off against tier sevens most of the time. 
and they can hurt you a lot. I think half of that is luck if you can get round the enemy uh, end of the map and oh it's just problematic and I don't play the ELC very often I know a lot of there's some amazing ELC drivers out there I've seen the videos and they can seem to make it work time and again but um, I've yet to master that I feel like the PZ1C is my baby I can do that kind of match time and again um, maybe it's because it's lower tier and you're facing off against uh, less experienced players and that's why it works I don't think it's seal clubbing as such because you are a lightweight fast moving target that's what's keeping you alive that you're lightweight and fast unlike being in the T18 say in the tier 2 um, American tank destroyer which can one shot many other tier 2's that's seal clubbing um, I think this actually requires a bit more care and attention to what you're doing the PZ1C anyway highly recommend that tank it is great fun if I'm having a dreadful evening with uh, my higher tier tanks it's nearly my, always my go-to tank to put a smile back on my face and enjoy the game anyway I hope you enjoyed that um, feel free to um, leave any comments um, advice um, positive negative do not care um, and if you want to see more content like this, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way I'll know I'm doing something right and um, there'll be more content coming up. So uh, take care and I shall see you all again soon.